AMC stock update. Big week ahead for AMC. Okay, guys, so here we are with an update on AMC. So AMC has soared so far today. I believe the stock is up as much as 8% so far on Monday, uh, May the 17th, guys. So we're going to do an update video here. Before I get into the video, guys, I want to remind you to grab your two free stocks over at Weeble. You can grab those two free stocks by going to investortrip.com slash Weeble, opening up a Weeble brokerage account. Or if you guys are interested in crypto, we've covered a lot of crypto videos in the past couple of days. You can grab your free $10 in Bitcoin by going to investortrip.com slash Coinbase. Okay, guys, let's get right back into the video. So, uh, basically, what's been going on with AMC? Well, I, I mentioned it earlier, guys, that I sold some of my AMC stock last week. Basically, I, I bought in around $6, and I ended up selling around just under $14, around like $13.86, something like that. So now I'm playing with the house's money. I still have half of my stake left. So as we can see here, AMC is up, um, is up pretty big. So up around 8% today. And it, there seems to be a lot of support, I would say. Uh, if we take a look at the intraday chart, uh, we could see here that there looks like there's actually, yes, yeah, so there actually is resistance at around $14. So we've tapped up at one point, the stock even went up to 14 uh 14 dollars and then hit up 14.28 and it just looks like you know as the stocks right now the volume is kind of trending off a bit but this is great news i think the 14 dollars that's that's a really like psychological point i think for this stock scene is that earlier or earlier in the year the stock had, uh, uh we show you right here uh, there was previous resistance back in March 18th for AMC. So this is a really key point. Now, the exciting thing is, is that the stock ran up so much in Monday session and um, hopefully it will continue its run up. So we're just really looking for a clean breakout here at around, I would say, mm, we can probably say around 14 40, 14 50. So there's a couple of scenarios that could take place. If AMC, we already see a double bottom here, right? So we saw a double bottom that we mentioned earlier. Now we have the, the run-up. So I ended up selling half of my stake here. I thought this was a good point to take some money off the table and play with the house's money. So now we're going to hope for a breakout. So if, wow, if we break out past this resistance, I think the next price target is easily maybe 15 to $16. $16 seems pretty reasonable uh, perhaps this week for a couple of reasons why. The first reason is is that you know the whole reopening trade uh, is really heating up so a lot of tech stocks have been selling off there was a, there was a slight recovery on friday but a lot of these tech stocks are, are still selling off on monday session and as you can see here amc has been pretty red hot so the stock has really picked up some steam and we see a nice uh basically a nice vertical trend line over the last week or so so why is this a huge week well we're approaching june so we're approaching the end of the second quarter guys and, and i was mentioning this video june is really the start of the summer uh the weather is going to start getting a lot warmer and i think that's going to be the start of i would say the summer meme stock se uh, season we're going to see stocks like gamestop amc cost i believe these stocks are going to absolutely moon in the summertime so i think they're going to moon in the summertime and then i think towards september maybe like august at the end of september they're going to cool off and I also believe that this is going to happen with the crypto market as well. It seems like crypto and meme uh, meme stocks are a, a little bit correlated. Not so, not closely correlated, but usually those are the two markets that are really going to pump. So we have Dogecoin and things like that. So what's in store for AMC? Well, I'm going to answer a couple of questions in this video. Um, what's a good entry point? So normally I don't like buying at resistance, guys. Now the reason why I don't like buying at resistance is because, you know, resistance is really where uh, the sellers take over the stock. So that's where, you know, people that have made some profits, they're looking to sell. So if I were to get into AMC, like I said, I'm already holding, I would want to buy on some weakness. And when I say by weakness, as we can see here, the price is starting to trickle down. I, I would recommend buying on dips. So I don't like buying when the stock is soaring. I like buying when the stock is weak. So you see in the intraday session, uh, there's a bit of weakness here. This is a good entry point. So you can pull this up. I'm using tradingview.com. It's 100% free to use. Just go to tradingview.com and go to the website or you can uh, download the app on your phone. 
but you can actually draw this so this is just the rsi graph so you can use this as like an intraday chart to see weakness so basically you want it to basically buy when you see this rsi that's near 30 these are good entry points so you can buy on some dips uh and then basically uh if you're looking for quick profits you can try to sell at the top of this chart here if you're looking to like day trade or something like that but uh if you're looking to swing trade i would say buy these dips and then you know wait for more strength so uh sh what should you do if you bought amc stock um you know if you bought it at the top here at 1420 well like i say me personally i don't like using trailing stops and a lot of stop loss orders but i don't necessarily have huge trades so some of you guys are out there trading with you know maybe putting me personally like i said only in 100 shares of amc at the time i only have 50 shares left so i'm not trading with a ton of money so i don't have any stop losses but if you guys out there have you know thousands of shares of amc it might be a good idea to have some stop losses now i know the short squeeze uh could happen we we could see another short squeeze you know amc is still you know it's not heavily as shorted as it was before but it's still shorted so there is a squeeze potential but um you know if this we don't break out past 14 uh 40 and 1450 and we drop back down and you have a lot of money in this stock uh, you could suffer some big losses and it could be you might have to wait at least another couple of weeks or a month or two so i would say um if you're really worried about losing money use some stop losses uh, you can place your stops basically below these support lines because you don't want the stock to break down so you know if we move back out and we kind of look at a more year-to-day view so you take a little bit of a longer term view we can see that you know amc stock is still up 500 percent year to date so i would say if you're going to have a huge position it's okay to use stop losses because you can always buy the stock back cheaper but sometimes it's best to just buy and forget about it for a while so amc is 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 up over 500 percent this year it's still trending up we still have another half of the year to go who knows maybe by the end of the year you know amc stock could be like similar to tesla it could be up six seven hundred eight hundred percent maybe more 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 than a thousand percent by the end of the year so you definitely don't want to sell too early and panic sell because if you take a look here at the more uh long-term chart we're just continue trending up so we've hit a, we've hit a little bit of resistance along the way but so far you know we started off this year at around two dollars and now we're sitting at 13 so almost um you know almost seven extra money so i would say uh it's gonna be a really interesting week i'm gonna post some more videos updates on amc stock and where i think it's headed guys but i think we're definitely going to see a, a boom probably as we head in towards june these reopening stocks are really going to be pumping hard so i would say if you're in if you're up if you have the, if you can afford to let the money ride uh you know i would say let the money ride me personally like i said took some of my profits back so i have more than comfortable with letting the money ride and we're also here like i say guys we're near the top of the rsi trend for the annual chart so we're just really waiting to break out past this resistance now if we have a major breakout we saw what happened uh you know earlier in the year when the rsi went to 95 that was a good uh indicator to sell so if this pumps super super hard we should probably get out of the trade if it gets to like 90 or 95 is completely overbought and that's that's when uh, it's a good time to sell but so far so good guys like i said uh i don't think uh you're going to lose much money in amc if you're still holding right now although i'm not a professional financial advisor uh this is just my opinion on amc stock guys so if you enjoyed this video be sure to smash the like button and smash the red subscribe button to receive more videos from me and make sure you head over to weevil and coinbase to grab your free two free stocks and your free bitcoin guys that's until next time take care